Fire departments throughout Luzerne County could soon get new life-saving equipment. Newswatch 16's Bill Waddell shows us the 13-year-old who is raising hundreds of dollars to buy oxygen masks for cats and dogs. Jacob Mims and his mom Dawn live in Hanover Township and are big animal lovers. A recent conversation in the family's kitchen led to a special mission for the 13 year old. We were talking about house fires and how many animals that don't make it. That makes me really sad. Special oxygen masks designed for pets were used to treat these dogs rescued by firefighters in Pottsville back in 2012. Jacob was surprised when he learned that many fire departments in Luzerne County, including the Breslow Fire Hall near his family's home, do not have those special masks. We're big animal lovers, so yeah. And he said, well, why can't we help? I said, well, we can. So then it went from there. By selling lollipops and turning to the Internet, Jacob has raised nearly half of his $1,500 goal. One kit costs $75 for three different oxygen masks that fit cats and dogs. We want our animals to be safe, too, if we have, ever have a fire. So, yeah, we want our animals to live in. Uh, hopefully, ever, any of anybody else's animals that are like in a fire that need help. Wilkesbury City is another fire department that does not have a pet oxygen mask. It can be a challenge, but firefighters say masks designed for people can be used to revive dogs. They're just like a human being. If they've had smoke inhalation, we have the ability to treat them with oxygen. And we, for right now, we use devices that we use on human beings. We've had some good results with that, but certainly there are more optimal products that are on the market today. Jacob wants to raise enough money to buy oxygen masks for every fire department in Luzerne County. A link to help Jacob's cause is on WNEP.com under websites mentioned. Bill Waddell, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.